want a sports car. But not just any sports car. You want one that's unique, that doesn't look like anything else on the road, that not a lot of people will recognize, and most importantly, that can be found for a bargain. Well, don't worry, because in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look and discussing the top five most underrated sports cars around. And starting off our list at the number one spot is the Volkswagen Jetta GLI. Now the Jetta is often overlooked because of its sedan status, but the GLI is a special version that shares the majority of its drivetrain with the more competitive Golf GTI. It comes packing sporty red accents and plenty of usable interior space, but don't be fooled by its practical looks, because under the hood, it's packing a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, which produces 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The most important part about this powertrain is that it produces all its power low in the RPM range, and this makes it great for ripping at slow speeds. All right, let's go around this turn and see what the 2-liter can do. It actually has a lot of torque. It takes a second to pick up, but the torque is very good. So if you're looking for something that's sporty, but also practical and kind of sleeper-esque, I think this Jetta GLI could be a great option for you. But if sedans aren't your thing, the next car on our list is the Mercedes SLC 300 Roadster. This is a car that's been around for a long time, but doesn't get a lot of love due to its high price tag and unique styling. But when I drove an SLC 300 for the first time, I was shocked by how peppy this car actually is. It comes packing a modest 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, which produces around 241 horsepower. Now compared with the light weight of the SLC, this will help the car go from 0 to 60 in under 6 seconds. But more importantly, it comes with a 4-wheel, multi-link, fully independent suspension system with available adaptive dampers in the upper trim levels. And this makes the Mercedes a blast to whip around corners. And it is pretty fast as well. Obviously, you're not getting light and fast supercar style acceleration. But yeah, for a little four cylinder, that's, that's pretty good. It's definitely plenty, more than enough to have a lot of fun. The only downside is that it starts at an MSRP of nearly $50,000. If you're looking for something a little cheaper, the next car on our list is the Porsche 944 Turbo, also called the 951. When people talk about fast Porsches, they tend to mention 911s, 911 Turbos, and maybe even the new Taycan. In fact, a lot of young enthusiasts don't even realize that this front-engined, forced induction sports car from the 80s even exists. And for only twenty dollars to $25,000, the 951 is one heck of a performance deal. It comes packing a 2.5-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine which produces 220 horsepower, making it far more capable than its naturally aspirated sibling. The 944 lineup handles better than any other cars I've driven, and the boost lag in this turbo model makes it a lot of fun for straight line performance as well. Below 3,000 RPM, there's nothing it feels like my car. Yes, and then above, it's so much better. Unfortunately, these cars do tend to be plagued with reliability issues, which is to be expected of any 40-year-old sports car. But if retro-styled four-bangers aren't your thing, the next car on our list is a fantastic muscle car from the modern era, and it's the Cadillac ATS-V. Most people don't tend to equate Cadillac with performance, which might explain why their V-series models didn't sell that well. But this ATS-V is an exception to the rule, and I think it deserves a second look. It's powered by a 3.6-liter V6 engine that it shares with the Chevy Camaro, and this means it produces 464 horsepower and 445 pound-feet of torque, meaning this car offers some of the most horsepower for some of the lowest prices on our list. What's great about the ATS-V is that it offers all the performance of a Camaro and all the comfort and style of a Cadillac. And it might just be the underrated sports car that you're looking for. Now the final sports car on our list tops it as the fastest but also the most expensive car in this video. It's the Porsche Carrera GT. This is the last great analog hypercar and with its rare manual transmission and fantastic V10 soundtrack, 
I'm honestly shocked that this car can still be bought for under $800,000, which does sound like a lot until you compare it to some of its competitors, like the Enzo, that are selling for well in excess of $2 million. This means that right now is a fantastic time to buy a Carrera GT and get it at a good price. It comes with a 5.7 liter powerhouse pumping out 604 horsepower, helping the car go from 0 to 60 in around 3.5 to 4 seconds, and reaching top speeds over 200 miles per hour. This iconic Porsche has good looks on both the exterior and the interior, and although most enthusiasts will probably never see a Carrera GT, let alone be able to afford one, I think it's still one of the most underrated and undervalued performers around. And that concludes our list of underrated sports cars. I sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed and maybe even learned something from this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and leave your own thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe.